Welcome guys to a new episode on my YouTube tutorial on how to create a Metroidvania game in Unity. Today we want to do the advanced camera follow script. It will be a little bit complicated, probably take a little bit longer, so I just try to hurry today. Um, here you see um, Cyclopvania, a little game I created the code for in um, Game Jam. You can ch please check it out on itch.io. You would do me a big favor. Um, uh, I show you this because in here I created a camera follow script doing all the normal things a camera does in a Metroidvania game. You see you have in Metroidvania rooms of different sizes and in between the borders of the rooms your camera is uh, free, free to move like here um, but always uh, fixated on the um, on the uh, room size. Um, I will show you this in the scene. So we have a player here and I can move him around and the camera as well as the backgrounds are moving with him. This is a quite large room so here it's possible to move the camera freely but if I switch him into the next smaller room here, you see there is a switch in the camera just aligning uh, the player to the word size, to the room size, to the room uh, borders. And we want to recreate this exactly in our Tutorvania game. Yeah. So we have to switch to our um, Tutorvania uh, Unity project in here. So the first thing is um, we have a room map and now we want to create uh, larger rooms um, where the camera can move within. So now I have created uh, some rooms um, which are a little bit uh, larger than the um, rooms before. You can uh, see it here on our tile map. And the trick is now that in the simple camera we make a if question whether the uh, which sort of tiles we have in the position of our relevant rooms. And if we have a tile like uh, this one, it's just a simple camera script like by now. And if we have a tile like this or this or like this, this, we are creating different, um, yeah, different uh, code examples for or code rules for how to move, how our camera can move, and for that, um, for that, um, yeah, for that we go into our simple camera script. And now, first things first, um, we have to add our tiles in the inspector of our camera script. Um, so we do this under camera alignment components, I guess, and we paste that um, in here. So we have an array of different tiles and in the different tiles we will put um, yeah, the tiles we're using for indicating our rooms. The next uh, step uh, will be a little bit complicated. So, until now, this code, uh, this line of code, uh, is the code that uh, managed to attach our camera to our rooms. Uh, but we only want to do this uh, in single rooms, in rooms that have the size one. So, we have to make an if question on depending on the tile because the tile is indicating which kind of room we are and which kind of position uh, we have in the room and on that we make uh, the rules for moving the camera and we want this line of code only in one kind of room so we deleting this and I paste now this lines of codes and I will explain the uh, code to you now. So, if you go uh, above here, you have uh, the simple 
uh, main camera transform position grid get core center world cell position. So this is the uh, line of code from, from before. So this is a single size room and yeah, single size room. It's written in German here, but I will translate this for you guys. Single size room. So the normal room where we just, um, where the camera is just attached to the middle of, to the center of the room. So we, then we have a uh, different uh, kinds of room like border in the, in the lower right edge or in the lower uh, left edge and the above right edge and the top uh, left edge and so on and so on. And um, depending on this, you have to, um, yeah, create different rules like um, um, depending on the position of the player uh, when and so that the camera can follow the player under certain rules. And this is all written down here. And of course, guys, um, you can, if you, uh, you can copy this code from the GitHub page. The, um, the link is in the video description. Of so guys, I translated all the room positions for you. So we have, uh, here I did a mistake, but you have the single size room, top left corner, large room, top center, top right corner, large room, left center, right, bottom left corner, large room, bottom center, bottom right corner, and then the vertical corridors. And the step now is to attach in our new um, array of tiles the uh, certain tiles in this order. So I wrote uh, the order down in this uh, editor file and we can check it now and we have to go in our uh, yeah to unity again and now to go to the inspector of the camera i guess um yeah genau to the um, camera and now um we have to count how many rooms we have we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17, I guess. Um, and we go to our array and we say we have now 17, not 117, 17 uh, tiles and we unroll this list. And now this is, is a tricky part. We have to attach each tile. For this, um, first we uh, click here. So we also stay in the inspector of the main camera for now. So now we go to the uh, place where we saved uh, our map uh, tiles. Uh, I saved it um, under sprites for any reason I don't know but here we have our sprites and now we have to attach um, the correct sprites in this, in this order and you see single size room is the first one and the single size room is this one and now we uh, attach him just here so and um, and so on we go for this top left corner large room top center and you already see I did this in the um, same order as the um, tiles are drawn no not exactly the corridors are vertical corridor is like the in this one And then comes this one. Hopefully, let's check. Large room, large room, left, center, right. This was correct. Next is the bottom, the bottom uh, tiles of the large room. And let's look for this. There we, there we are. So, did we any mistakes? The next thing is. Uh, I, I miscounted, I guess. Uh, 
and then the horizontal corridor where we have it um, there is the top then the center and then and we only have oh 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 oh, oh where we are we only have 16 tiles now let's check this is correct 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 too this is correct too this is correct too this is correct 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 that's correct and that's correct and now we can um, we should check this in the game and of course the first rooms work like uh, we are used to but still a single sized room and now we have our first corridor now of course oh, oh this shouldn't be oh no something's something's wrong i guess um I uh, switched vertical with horizontal. Um, let me check. Yeah, I'm kind of an idiot. Uh, I uh, forgot uh, that vertical. I switched just vertical and horizontal. I'm sorry, guys, but we can fix it very easily. We just go to our main camera, and you see how tricky this can be. You can make simple mistakes, but it's not that bad so and we have here and here so this belongs here now this belongs here now this belongs here now and then we have this this and this and now we check if it's now working so we are in the game again, just checking the first room, of course. No. Yeah, it seems to uh, work well now. Let's go to the next room. Yeah, and it's just working fine. Perfect. Let's go to the very large room. And it seems to uh, work fine for me, I guess. Yeah. I think this is how a camera in a Metroidvania game should behave. So uh, we um, yeah we did this, and uh, this was um, yeah this was uh, episode for today. Um, I mean of course there's a lot of lot of things to do in this tutorial. Um, we will see how far we get. Um, yeah, but um, a big thank you for you guys. Um, for watching my videos and I started to uh, make some uh, Twitch streams where I show how I develop my other game Paco the Jungle Duck. I would very enjoy if you like, um, um, yeah, if you join me on Twitch uh, and uh, we can talk or you can also um, go to my Discord channel and reach out there for me. The link will be in the video description. So thank you very much and have a nice day.